This is Insider Medicine in 60. From Boston, the use of induced pluripotent stem cells, a technique using differentiated skin cells as a source of stem cells, has been used to treat sickle cell disease. The technique, hailed as a significant breakthrough only weeks ago, was used to treat mice with sickle cell anemia. In mice with the disease, a type of blood disorder that is seen in 10% of African Americans, normal red cells were produced following the procedure. From Maryland, the FDA is warning that seizures may be a side effect of the bedwetting drug Desmopressin. The medicine, commonly marketed as DDAVP, lowers the amount of water that is excreted in the urine. However, it can also cause dangerously low levels of sodium in the body. The medicine has been linked to 61 cases of seizures and should no longer be used to treat bedwetting in children. And finally, from Toronto, YouTube may contain biased and medically inaccurate information. Over half of the videos tagged with the words immunization and vaccination portrayed routine childhood HPV and flu vaccines in a negative manner. In addition, the videos frequently undermine recommended vaccination guidelines. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Dr. Petra Joller.